హాయ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు అవర్ యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ డిఎం ఆల్ ఇన్ వన్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఇంకా మన ఛానల్ ఎవరైనా సబ్స్క్రైబ్ చేయకుండా చూస్తున్నట్లయితే ప్లీజ్ వెంటనే సబ్స్క్రైబ్ చేసుకోండి నమస్తే టు ఎవ్రీబడి ఐఎమ్ ప్రొఫెసర్ మురళీకృష్ణ ప్రొఫెసర్ ఆఫ్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ అండ్ డీన్ ఫ్యాకల్టీ ఆఫ్ కామర్స్ అండ్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ ఇన్ దిస్ గ్రేట్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూషన్ కాల్డ్ శ్రీకృష్ణదేవరాయ యూనివర్సిటీ it is our uh, profound privilege to conduct 10 day research methodology course in social sciences for the benefit of all research scholars in the faculty in the faculty of social sciences including commerce management history economics sociology political science and all other uh, fields of uh, social sciences for the benefit of this are uh, the research scholars across the country at the outset i am thankful to indian council of social science research government of india new delhi for sponsoring this program which is going to start uh, from 26th onwards to 26th of uh, october that means this mo- this month and it will go up to 5th of november all together there would be 30 participants selected out of over 100 applications received by us and 10 participants would be from outside the andhra pradesh state there are i am very happy to say that there are participants from gujarat bihar tamil nadu karnataka telangana and up I am also extremely happy to say that in the entire history of Sri Krishna Devaraya University this type of course in research methodology for a span of 10 days is not been conducted right from the inception of the university therefore the course is not only significant to participants but it is also highly significant to sri krishna devara university and i am confident and hopeful that this event will go as a a milestone to be recorded with in the history of sri krishna devara university under the banner of sri krishna devara institute of management this indicates that how much the name of sk university department of management which is called as the sri krishna devaraya institute of management spread over the country across the country therefore the people are willing to participate by knowing about the institution the kind of facilities that we arrange here and 10 participants would be from within the state of andhra pradesh and i am again happy to say that there are participants selected from in addition to anantapur there are people from uh, east godavari west godavari visakhapatnam kadapa tirupati and all the guntur and other places and because we are organizing it in sri krishna devaraya university locals local participants would be another 10 research scholars who are again uh, selected on uh, strict uh, guidelines given by icssr new delhi so this is the composition like there would be around 30 participants rigorously <coughs> undergoing uh, the practical inputs of uh, uh, writing a thesis identifying the problem and uh, going up to the level of preparing a research thesis this entire process uh, is moduled in a uh, subject called uh, research methodology which is uh, very very prevalent and very important significant uh, in estimating and extrapolating uh, uh, the society and the uh, the future future policies of government with regard to uh, management of population with regard to management of uh, administration 
uh, either government or local or at the central level or the, any phenomenon that we consider or identify in the society that needs to be uh, significantly researched to know the future trends of such phenomenon. And this is how over a period of uh, centuries and centuries, uh, since the birth of human being, uh, where the uh, human being is uh, continuously, inquisitively uh, gaining knowledge by inquiry. Inquiry, inquiry, inquiry. So it is that kind of an inquiry uh, which is uh, actually focused through the subject called research methodology. So generally, Research scholars registered for MPhil or PhD degree in universities and colleges, they would identify a problem that is existing in the society. Society includes everything, even industry, a public institution, a general society, non-government organizations, service sectors and so on. So, any issue or any problem depending on the interest of uh, the research scholars, if they start identifying certain problems in the society or maybe management of organizations and they have to actually go and inquire through a certain scientific process uh, in reaching to the object problem and then uh, finding the scientific uh, finding the solution in a scientific way therefore uh, the actual reasonable and meaningful solutions can be arrived at uh, that would lead to uh, contributing uh, not only to the academic uh, knowledge base uh, but at the same time uh, giving finding certain solutions for human problems so, this is all about uh, the research methodology and its significance uh, in the, uh, as a subject, as a subject based on 100% uh, the scientific approach. And over a period of time, this approach or the quality in this approach uh, is uh, slightly diluting. So, therefore, uh, I personally found some of the research thesis uh, which are not up to the level of uh, uh, like uh, uh, there are not up to the level and they require some kind of uh, additional qualitative inputs then across the this, uh, research scholars uh, this has been the trend therefore uh, it came to my mind uh, why can't i do something to these research scholars in terms of academics so then immediately i submitted proposals to indian council of social science research and uh, through a proper selection process, uh, I, my proposal got selected and on the 5th of September this year, I got uh, the sanction letter from uh, ICSSR New Delhi. Since then, we planned to <coughs> prepare to program, uh, conduct this program uh, that from 26th onwards, 26th October up to 5th of November. We provide accommodation, food to all the participants so that they would be comfortable here and <coughs> totally concentrate on learning about insights in research methodology in social sciences. I am also happy to inform you that there are altogether 15 highly richly experienced resource persons across the country. I am happy to say that there are professors, experts in the field of research methodology coming from IIMs, IITs, central universities, state universities across the country. This is one the, a significant contribution to this place because this is uh, Anantapur is in a remote area and most of the people, uh, experts uh, uh, may not come regularly to this place and this is one reason, this, is, this program is a reason that we are able to bring all such kind of experts uh, and uh, make them uh, give lectures so that uh, the students get benefit out of it. And this total program 
is completely funded by Indian Council of Social Science Research, New Delhi. I am uh, thankful to ICSSR and I profoundly thank our beloved Vice Chancellor, Professor M. Ramakrishna Redigaru for his support, encouragement to the maximum extent. But for him, probably we would not have even thought of uh, uh, sending the proposal. It was he who was backbone for this program. He encouraged me to submit the proposals and because of his uh, wishes and support, we could get this. And at the same time, India is renowned in terms of education because of certain major internationally reputed institutions such as IITs in engineering, IIMs in management and Jawaharlal Nehru University, New Delhi, which is one of the oldest universities in this country, which is contributing the knowledge and research uh, uh, resources in the field of social sciences. I am really thankful to the Vice Chancellor, Professor Shanti Sri Dhulipudi Pandit, and she is the Vice Chancellor of uh, Jawaharlal Nehru University, New Delhi. She is also holding the position of uh, Member Central Council, uh, Indian Council of Social Science Research. I, I profoundly thank her for coming all the way, for accepting our invitation at the outset and uh, taking risk of coming from Delhi to this remote place, Anantapur. And I hope and I am also thankful to all my colleagues, my head of the department, Professor Prabhakar, my senior colleague, Professor Venugopal Rao, our chairman board of studies, Professor Anita, and our young colleagues, Professor Krishnudu, and Dr. V. Sailaja. Sailaja, incidentally, she is also course co-director of this program and I am the director. I, I, I thank all my faculty members for uh, supporting me, encouraging me and helping me in conducting this program. And I only wish with the kind of uh, limited and decent accommodation that we are going to provide both to resource persons and also to the participants. Participants particularly will gain rich knowledge from the experts during these 10 days in Sri Krishna Devaraya Institute of Management SK University. I hope the program would be highly successful. And there is one more uh, most important factor uh, which gives me continuously energy. Though I am 60, I still feel like 20 because my students are 20. So, but for these students' support, their encouragement, their uh, continuous uh, uh, kind of uh, standing with me, I, I would not have uh, organized this program. So I, I, I thank all my beloved students for supporting me, being with me in organizing this program. I thank everyone directly or indirectly helped me in conducting this program. And I am also thankful to our rector of the university, Professor A. Malikarjan Reddy and Professor Lakshmaya, who is a registrar of our university, for uh, continuously encouraging me and supporting me. So, let us hope to be together here and be a part of uh, this great learning process. Thank you very much.